Good morning, everybody. Today we will begin with objectives of the presentation. Uh, we finished theories of the presentation. There are three theories of the presentation. You go compressive theory, you go static theory, and selective pressure theory. Now we are dealing with objectives of the presentation. As I told you, these are the objectives of the presentation. P R E S S: preservation of knowledge, protection, aesthetics, stability, and support. Preservation we already covered this. When you have to preserve the knowledge, you have to have an impression technique or selective pressure technique where we give pressure only to those parts which can bear the stress without the absorption. Those areas are called stress bearing areas, and the other areas have to be relieved in a custom or a special way, and that is how we preserve the knowledge. That is because we have not demand the knowledge that whatever is remaining in the, in the oral cavity should be preserved rather than. Replacing the missing part. So this will this will be the questions asked. Uh, we ask what is retention or define retention and discuss in detail about the factors of the retention in complete failure or define retention. Discuss the objectives of the retention in complete failure. These are the usually asked questions. So retention, retention and stability is entirely different, but both are interrelated to each other. Retention means something has to be steady. Retention means it should not come out. That is to resist or dislodge. Whereas stability is resisting displacement. So these two are different. So when you ask anything about retention, it is the ability of the denture to withstand dislodgement, and you have to apply that withstanding dislodgement because stability is withstanding displacement. So it's the ability of the denture to withstand dislodgement to the forces acting. Against its path of insertion, that is, path of insertion is for the upper edge, the path of insertion is support, and for lower edge is downward. So again, the forces acting against it will actually distort the edge, and that is what is called the retention. So every time the edge will start distortion, so the forces acting against its path of insertion, and it is these forces usually acting. Which causes an engine to remove, uh, to get distorted, uh, the forces of the gravity uh, in accelerating an engine, adhesiveness of the food and forces associated with mouth opening. That is, your mastication when you chew adhesive food or when you have gravity, when your engine actually when you accelerate an engine can fall down, and then surrounding musculature, paraflexional gravity, these are all the forces which actually uh, distort the engine. So it is ability of the denture to withstand this lodgement of the forces acting against its path of insertion. And this is important because this gives actually a psychological comfort to the patient. And whereas stability is the ability of the denture to be firm, steady and constant to resist force to, to resist displacement to horizontal forces. That gives actually a physiological comfort, whereas this gives a psychological comfort. When your denture has protection, stability, and support, then it satisfies the physical, uh, the psychological, and the physiological needs of the patient. So these three are interrelated with each other: retention, stability, and support. They are interrelated with each other, and this, when these three are there, you can give a comfortable, complete denture to the patient. So now we will see what are the factors affecting the retention of a denture. These are five factors: anatomical factor, physiological factor, physical factor, mechanical factor, and muscular factor. Anatomical factor is concerned with the anatomy of what is there in the patient's own cavity. That is, size of the if the size of the denture very big, if the maxillary which is high well rounded and macula which is high well rounded, it will be more protection than this uh, knife edge or flat. Whereas quality of the denture very big is in the is firm, steady, and thick with adequate supporting force, the denture will stay here without any problem. And bridge characteristic is when you have a parallel bone bridge with a flat crust, it will have more retention. Physiological factor is nothing but about the saliva. You think of two glass plates, the one glass plate is uh, the only one to address the material that is one is uh, denture and the other is the mucosa. And the saliva which acts in between the denture and the mucosa acts as a matter. Whereas the saliva, see, you just imagine that the saliva is more thick and rocky, it will give less retention. Whereas thick, watery saliva will give 
ሁሉ ወልሎ ወደ ሳይገርም አንተ ይችላል ሆነ ታሽ ሶ ፋሳ ነን ኢንፋክት ሰፍሪስ ናው this is physiological factors physiological factors that 